What's up everybody? Um, I am actually standing out in my garage and um, this is going to be a part two of working on my push mower. Um, now my push mower carburetor is clogged. I uh, took the whole entire uh, the uh, top of the shield, um, bolt, everything all came off and I actually um, looked at the, the jet that's inside uh, the carburetor, uh, it's, it's in the bowl actually. Um, it is severely clogged. The um, the actual tube that the fuel goes up through goes through the jet. The tube is also clogged too. So let's uh, get cleaning it up, and hopefully it runs. Here is the uh, this I believe is the main jet. Okay, and oops, sorry about. Okay, this is the main jet. Okay, um, so it does get clogged, as you can see. You can see light through it. I'm just going to show it up. Uh, see it? You can see light right straight through it, which means that this is uh, cleaned. So set that aside. This is the uh, the tube, okay, fuel tube that the fuel goes up through, spurts fuel out from the all sides of these holes, okay. This is also too, not too bad, but the sides of it, okay, now that there is holes, you can see that. There's a hole here, hole there, and etc. And all these holes actually have to be um, unplugged and how I do that is I take actual like um, it's like a spool a small thin spool of wire okay I'm not sure what the dimensions are of it okay but it's a okay so I got the I got the strand of wire and I got the so you see that and I got the, the, fuel, uh, the fuel needle Okay, actually a field tube, sorry, field tube. And what I'm going to do is poke each one of these holes out like this just to, just to basically unclog them. And I'm sorry for the shakiness. I'm trying, I'm trying to do this up here. Okay, do that. Now what I have to do is I have to, I have to unclog all these holes that are on the side of here. Okay. Sometimes it can be tricky, other times it can't be. Okay, like that. It just basically it just it just uh, keep cleaning all the holes out. And those white specks is actually carbon buildup. So it looks like there's a lot, a lot of carbon buildup into this. A lot. So I'm gonna go ahead. If you can see, it's kind of it's, it's kind of dark to see this. Let's see if I bring it closer. If you can see all that all that carbon built up right there, right on the top of that. Look at all that white stuff. All that stuff's all white carbon built up. Gotta get that out. The uh, the fuel tube, okay. Um, the flat part. Sorry. This this is the flat part, okay. And this is the open part. The open part, okay, goes down inside of that. And the jet actually gets screwed, gets gets popped down in there. And now get uh, get yourself a flathead screwdriver, and basically keep turning it until it basically stops. And it stopped. So as of now, the uh, fuel tube is down in there the proper way, and the jet is down in there, screwed down the proper way. Do is make sure that the uh, bowl inside the bowl is nice and clean, free of debris. So if there is, you can just uh, blow it out. Okay, if you have an air compressor, okay, you can bl uh, blow it out that way, or you could just uh, use, you know, blow it out with your mouth. Okay, and just do like I'm doing with the finger, just trying to get everything all out. <sighs> make sure, make sure everything's nice and clean and stuff in there. Because so I'm going to put the bowl, bowl, okay back onto the carburetor now I left the fuel line attached to the carburetor and to the fuel tank okay so the throttle the the I guess what you call the throttle linkage okay is always facing the um, the air filter side which is on this side okay so 
Yeah. So that's yeah, the throttle linkage is always facing okay to this to the left side. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna put the bowl. Okay. Now take your bowl, put it on. Okay. You put, put the bowl on like this, nice and secure. Okay. Now the so I got the I got this propped up against my drill. All right. So the bowl actually fits just like this. Okay, where this hole okay. bolt with the get with the with the red gasket screws back onto here. Okay. Screws on here like this. Okay. And this right here, the this bolt with the black gasket is the drainage so this actually gets put just like uh, kind of hard to do it with one hand and there we go just like that here has the red gasket on it okay just tighten it up okay and this bolt this bolt here also has a uh, Phillips, so you can either use a Phillips a Phillips screwdriver to undo this, but you need a, a size 10 socket, so you can use a size 10 socket to undo this bolt or this bolt, or you could or you get or if you have a screwdriver, you can use a screwdriver to undo this, but you need a socket to undo this one, which is a 10 millimeter socket. Hold it, hold it just like this. Make sure it's nice and even. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it very carefully, turn it like that, make sure it's tightened up good, tighten down up good, okay, just don't, um, okay, see, just like that, so this seems to be good, okay, just, this is my fault, just before the bowl, the fuel bowl goes back on, okay, there is a rubber uh, black o-ring that sits down inside of here okay make sure that's in there secure make sure it's make sure it's in there and clean okay of debris and then and then you set your fuel bowl back down on like this take your red take your ball your bolt with the red washer put it down Tie it up just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, like that. Right, just a little bit. Now, now it's all sealed. Now it's now it's all sealed and set. Now I could start putting everything on the, on the uh, back on the engine, okay? Now there is a sleeve right here, which this sleeve slides back onto this, okay? Now there is a large or a small this is a paper it's like a very thick paper gasket okay so the smaller end goes up and the larger end down here goes down uh, my apology I thought went on this it actually goes down onto the uh, connector where the primer bulb bulb goes so there's a hole here and a hole here this one here has a, a sleeve, a sleeve in it all I have to do is fit this right down here oh pop it in just like that right there right goes on a little hard oh, right there okay and then it slides slides there okay now this this is a threaded bolt that's actually into here okay there is a nut here and there's a nut here okay so this threaded part and this threaded part goes on to it goes into here and goes into here right, like this all right like that and pop it in place see pop it in place and sorry pop it in place okay so the carburetor is now on piece okay assembly actually okay there's a tube here and there's also a tube here okay so there's a tube a metal tube sticking out right here which this one this metal tube coming out goes into 
this big one. This small one goes right on that nipple. So what I have to do, if you look down this right here that I'm tapping, right that yeah, this part right here that I'm tapping right there, okay, there's a metal part coming out of underneath here that this black tube slides onto and there is a another tube that's right it's kind of hard to see this right here that fits onto a nipple that's underneath there right there okay now what i need to do is basically yes yeah, so now what i need to do is basically take um the nut put the ten, two 10 millimeter nuts one onto here so one onto here and one onto right onto here and right onto here. Okay. Now this gasket, all right. The only way to tell is there's two there's two like indentations right here. There's an indentation here. Okay. And this one looks like a uh, like an like an looks like an arrowhead right here. Okay. But if you flip it over, see there's no other, there's no other design on this except for a round for a round indentation here so the round the single round indentation with nothing else actually goes onto this size over there it's kind of hard to do it with with one hand i do apologize like that so this is what that looks like right like this now what i got to do i got to put this back on okay so the tube right so the tube that's right here is already connected, it's already, done, it's already on. Now that metal, that metal tube that's coming out here, this rubber tube fits over it. Again, it can be a little hard, so. And I have to line everything up, which I'm gonna try to do without messing anything up. And there we go. Now I take the, uh, this 10 millimeter, uh, 10, I think it's, yeah, 10 millimeter bolt slide this uh, screw this 10 millimeter bolt on Oops, slide, slide that on like this okay slide that on like that don't have to tighten it just yet as long as it's on now I take a ten, now I take a 10 millimeter nut and I have to put one here and then the other side So I pretty much um, got them. I got them screwed on and secure. Okay, I end up using a uh, a short uh, socket wrench again with a 10 millimeter so uh, socket. So they're on there good. So the next thing I need to do is take um, these two screws right here, along with this this, uh, this part here where the air filter slides onto, which right here so that's so the air filter slides onto this okay okay so basically what I got to do is I got to put this right like in here right like this so it goes just like that so this hole lines up okay and this hole lines up so what I do is I take my screws Put them in here like so. Same thing. My Phillips screw. Take my uh, Phillips screwdriver and tighten these up. Like this. I would use the drill, but 
I don't want to over I don't want to over tighten them and end up uh, cracking the plastic. So I have to do it this way. And you don't have to you don't have to tighten up the screw so hard to the point to where it's going to break or it's not, or it's going to be hard to take them off next time if I, if I have to do it. There, that's secured on. Um, now what I do is I take the air filter, put the air filter on here. Now I take this and I basically put this. Now there is a tab here, there, and there. So so total three, and the tabs get locked in here. Go from here, here, and another one right there. So what you do is set it on, just like so. Push, and it locks into place, just like that. The only I have left to do now is take the uh, the shroud, which is this. Put this on here like this. Okay. Again, make sure the sleeves are on each one of these. Okay. Push. So I got it all together, and I forgot the uh, the I, the throttle and the the throttle linkage, or the the idle. It's the choke linkage, I think. There is two. There is a bar, which is a lumbar here, and the, the other one's attached to an arm. Okay, and there's a, a hole up top that this one's attached to. Now you take the spring, which if you can see that, the spring right here. Okay, now there's a, a little bit of an elbow to the spring, right? If you can see that, this one goes right, actually goes, if I can get, if I can focus this and get it in. Okay, that actually goes in there like this. If you can stand, sorry for the shakiness, trying to get this in here. <sighs> okay, so... It's a little bit of a pain in the butt to get this thing in right there. Okay, so that goes like this. So there's a spring here, like I mentioned, and there's a bar. This bar gets put on top of here. One end of the spring gets put right in the second hole. The second hole is under it. Okay, and right here. Okay, so let me turn. Okay, so right. So the, again, the smaller spring actually goes into the small little hole. Which is right, right. I'm trying to do this one hand. Try to do it. so a little hole right here, and then the then this big the big bar gets put right down in here, right down in here. Locks in. So there we go. So they that works. What I have to do is put this on. Make sure it's lined up good. Pull cord assembly. Okay. Take the pull cord assembly. Okay, so there's a hole here, here, and over on this side. Okay, so fits like. Okay, so where it says power, uh, power mode. Oh, sorry, power mode, and this right, here, this uh, uh, part where the pull cord goes into, it wraps around up, uh, wraps around underneath here. Always goes facing. Exactly, it's facing this way, but long as it's facing this direction. Put that on like that. Then I put the three last of the nuts on. Like so. One. Okay. It's almost like they don't want to go on. They do go on. It looks like they don't. And there you go. Then we take the ten millimeter socket, tighten them up nice and nice and good. Okay. And there we go. Now all I have to do is basically open this up, put some gas in it, prime, uh, prime it, pull start it, and see if it starts. And I'm going to prime it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down on the ground first, prime it, start it up. Now there's only one thing. It is exactly probably a little after 8 or, or almost going on 9 o'clock at night. And I don't want to disturb anybody. So uh, give me a minute. I'm going to shut down the garage door a little bit more. And once I start it up, then I will um, film it just just show that it's run and video's done. The ride mower down on the ground. Okay, everything's everything's all set up. The 
fuel the fuel tank's got fresh gas in it. The air filter is good. Okay, so I'm going to prime it. Okay, I primed it ten times. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get behind here, and I'm going to try to pull start it. I pull up the handle. I pr I primed it ten times. everybody uh, pretty much started up as you saw it ran uh, of course now my garage is full of smoke a yeah, little bit full of smoke um, so that's it it's running so now I can actually use the push mower to do, uh, to cut my grass until I can get my ride mower into the, uh, to the front of the garage and uh, drop the deck and to see what damage is actually happening or if there is any damage or just what's or what's happening to it um, I got sparks shooting out from underneath the deck so I have to check it out to see what's going on with it um, so um, that's it for the video so